Hi and welcome back to another video. I recently met randomly a viewer who was on the way to the Case King store and he had an AliExpress backplate cooling solution in his hands and he was on the way to buy some thermal pads which was quite interesting. Then after having a quick chat with him he pointed out that his graphics card was having a very hot backplate temperature so when he touched it it felt like he was burning his fingers which usually occurs at a temperature of about 60 degrees celsius plus. Um, that's still kind of normal. To me the question is how much heat is actually dissipated over a backplate and does it help to add some very questionable cooling solutions to the back of your cart. Apart from maybe cooling down the surface, does it even help cooling the cart? I ordered a few of these on AliExpress, which we're going to check out in today's video. This video is powered by Hetzner with their brand new EX44 dedicated root server. Powered by the recent Core i5-13500 with 6P and 8E cores, this server will be very efficient and at the same time powerful, which allows Hetzner to offer the server for only 44 euros per month. This includes 64GB of memory, which can optionally be increased to 128GB if needed. Two 512GB Gen 4 NVMe SSDs in RAID 1, together with the Gigabit connection, allow a very fast workflow with unlimited traffic. Find out more in the link below. So that's the first one which you're going to check out. I still have to unpack it. We can already see two fans through, a little bit of shiny copper. Then this was included. It's definitely not a thermal pad. It seems to be some kind of fabric texture, I don't know, stuff. Maybe it's adhesive, at least with the stripe on the back. Seems to be like that. And we have zip ties included and the cable to connect it. So this already looks pretty interesting. And just when I touched it first, I straight noticed it's extremely sharp, like very thin layers of copper. Definitely some surface area, but extremely sharp, not like the bird or anything. Also seems like it's just like glued in there, like the fans by hand probably. Also didn't pay much attention on keeping this nice and clean. If we look in between, we have some kind of pillars or anything in between. Could be that those are like heat columns, similar to heat pipes or just maybe massive pieces of copper. I am not sure at all. And if we flip it around, we basically have a huge contact surface. That's what this thermal pad is probably for, a big one. And then we somehow have to find a solution, probably with zip ties, to attach it to the GPU. I decided to test all of this with this 6900 XT, simply because it has a very even and quite easy to clean backplate. I didn't want to yeah, mess up the backplate of my Founders Edition card, especially like a 4090, which is much more difficult to clean and not as even. And also this backplate has direct contact with the GPU behind that, because I have one more of these and it came with thermal paste and I'm not quite sure if I want to make my Founders Edition messy, so I picked this one. And now we only have to find a way to attach this to the card, which certainly is going to be interesting. But before we start with that, we first have to figure out what's the stock condition, like what kind of temperature can we see on the backplate and also on the GPU. That's the system which we're going to use for today's testing. I already installed the 6900 XT and I also attached a thermocouple like right here next to the side of the backplate so we can actually measure the backplate temperature. I also closed the system so it's pretty realistic conditions and after 15 minutes in idle, we have a temperature that's closing in on 39 degrees Celsius in idle. All the fans inside the system are constantly running at 1000 RPM fixed fan speed. Same goes for the pump, fixed fan speed. I'm now going to perform 30 minutes of 3D load so we can see the stock condition temperature wise and also fan wise on the GPU. So let's say it ends up at 1600 RPM under load. Then I will later on fix the fan speed at exactly this RPM for further testing. 
because otherwise if we would attach any additional cooling it might just lower fan speed instead of the temperature but we want to see if there is any temperature gain. The measured temperature on the back plate after 30 minutes of load is about 60 degrees Celsius and looking into time space extreme in GPU Z we can read out a GPU temperature of about 73 to maybe 74 degrees Celsius and a hotspot temperature of about 87 degrees Celsius and the fan speed is constantly at about 2100 rpm. I quickly checked again on the AliExpress sales page how you are actually supposed to mount this and first of all it seems like you have to use these zip ties underneath the back plate and I carefully inserted them and now obviously the thermal pad has to go in between and the last thing after tightening the zip ties is adding these adhesive stripes to the side like left and right so yeah I'm not quite sure how well this will look. So the pad already on the cooler Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it will push down the fins or like the layers, so it's not really that nice. Honestly, if you have any kind of standards to the design of your system, I'm pretty sure that you would never put this inside your system. That's just like, I mean, that's horrendous. Just, just look at how the zip ties are squeezing down the copper plates and then you have like the thermal pad that's partially exposed and will definitely attract a lot of dust. They recommend in the online listing that you should wrap the, these kind of, I don't know, this tape stuff also around here, which would mean I would have to also detach the back plate, which I did not want to do, but I mean, yeah. It was also very much on the limit of even inserting the card at all because of the zip tie going around the GPU in the back. I'm not sure if it will be detected or not, but I mean, you will also have this extra touch of ugliness with the cable going from the back, like not being sleeved. But let's check. Even though it doesn't look nice, at least it's working. The card was detected. I will now close the system and we will check back in like 15 minutes to see what kind of idle temperature which we can reach. At least in idle, it's about five degrees Celsius colder, but let's see what happens under load. Well, so at least the backplate is about five degrees Celsius colder, but checking in GPU C, I mean, there is honestly no difference. Best case, it's like one degree Celsius colder on GPU temperature, but I also want to point out that the fan is now running about 20 RPM higher. So probably just measurement tolerance. So this backplate cooling solution, it looks hideous. And apart from that, it doesn't do anything except for lowering the amount on your bank account because this costs $40 and the profit is best case, one degree Celsius on your GPU, Maybe like five on the back plate, which is not even really helpful. So yeah, that one, not useful whatsoever. But there is one more back plate cooler that we want to test. And just looking at the packaging alone, not quite sure. Let's open this. I received this in a simple shipping bag. And that's why I'm not sure if it's supposed to be with this weird angle or, I mean, at least looking at the images at AliExpress, it was showing pretty much a 90 degree bend. Oh well. And this shows some high quality painting and yeah, I'm not quite sure about this. But we're going to check this in a second. Then we had some thermal paste, some thermal pads, rubber bands, zip ties included, and the fan. And then I straight noticed that there is a lot of dust in the fan. And also if you look at the, the holes of the fan, you can see this is a used fan. Nice. I always like if you buy something and then you just get used stuff. Honestly, I really don't know what to say. I mean, this probably happened due to shipment. So after removing this from the cardboard, looks kind of bent. I can probably just bend it back because it's just a heat pipe. But what is this, this paint job? Like, I mean, did somebody not decide if he wants to paint it or not? Or was the, the spray bottle just empty halfway through? <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't get it. It's like 50% like painted. Yeah, just spray a bit on it. But uh, yeah, maybe not. As usual with these kind of products, there is no manual included. So we will have to figure it out ourselves. 
I mean, it probably goes on like this. You could probably also flip it 180 degrees. So the heatsink is in the front and this might make sense if you have a fan on here. But since we have fans on the right, I will just point it in this direction. And I mean, we have, again, zip ties included. So I guess we will just use the zip ties to push it down. And I will definitely go for the thermal pads that's included and not for the paste. Because honestly, I don't want to clean my cart with a shit ton of paste on there. We even have a thermal glue included, but I will surely not use that. Just look at how the pad is cut. Like, <laughs> can they even cut a straight line and maybe to the correct size? Doesn't seem like it. Honestly, this zip tie stuff is really painful. Especially because, I mean, this is flat right here. So, like, no matter how much you tighten this, you will never get, like, a good mounting pressure. And now the last thing remaining is installing this like probably incredibly loud and annoying fan. And again, I mean, the zip ties will directly sit on the board. Yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Nice, so the small fan is making some like tiny weird Annoying noises, that makes it even better. The active backplate cooling with this cooling solution is, I mean, it's slightly better than stock. As you can see, it's about 36 degrees Celsius in idle. With this active cooling solution on the backplate, at least compared to the stock condition, we can see an improvement on the backplate temperature. It's now 51 degrees Celsius and that's about eight degrees Celsius better than stock. And checking in GPU-Z, there is actually an improvement talking about 3 to 4 degrees Celsius on the GPU temperature and also 3 degrees Celsius roughly on the hotspot temperature, running the same RPM as previously. If you are thinking about getting one of these active backplate cooling solution, do yourself a favor, your card and also me, and don't do it. At least not these kind of cooling solutions from AliExpress, because especially price performance wise, I mean, this is 50 euro. This is a complete waste of money for what you're actually getting because if you pay a bit more than twice, you will actually start getting a custom water cooling block, which will do a lot more than this. Obviously, you will have to get the rest of the cooling loop for custom water cooling, but still, I mean, this, this is definitely not the solution. And even if you're looking at, let's say, a 3090, which will have much more problems when it comes to the backplate temperature, then this one, like a 6900 XT, doesn't have the memory on the backside, so it's different from, let's say, a 3090. But the majority of cards are like this one. So they have a backplate, and the backplate makes contact to the VRM in the back, and also maybe around the memories, like through the PCB, and also to the GPU. But most of the cards don't have memory on the back. Like the 3090, as I said, is an exception, but for most of the cards, like, don't, just, just don't. And if you had the money to buy a 3090, then if you really have a problem, then might go for, for custom water cooling. And most of the time it's more subjective. So the backplate might be really hot, but technically it's still running. So yeah, always have to consider that. But this is, yeah, just don't. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.